So what we got going on here is uh, we have a trench um, from a pipeline removal and now I'm going to backfill it. So I have a bunch of machines on site, I have a packer, I have two D10s, I have a Cat 345 and two rock trucks. So this D10 right here, uh, the operator is Anthony, uh, it's a D10N. Um, he's going to, or what he's doing right now is pushing some wetter stockpiled uh, clay um, onto an existing lift that we already completed. Uh, so the packer uh, packed it all different directions evenly. Um, uh, we had to mix up the dirt a little bit, mix some dry with some wet uh, to meet uh, the specs for moisture content. Um, so that is completed now. Uh, I have the D10 pushing some clay onto uh, the lift. Uh, we're going to do another lift. He's going to try to push it on evenly. Uh, roughly 20 cents thick. Uh, that's pretty normal. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, in the background, in the far end there, you've just seen a puff of smoke. Um, I have another D10 working ahead so we're doing two lifts at once um, at two different elevations so uh, at, sometimes we're doing three it depends on the compaction um, but the thing that I have to do is I have to try and keep all the machines working so right now I have one D10 pushing this lift on in the background way back there I have another D10 he is building a haul road for the trucks to st stockpile um, and that will be uh, a future lift that we will push on and then once that D10's done that he's gonna jump up ahead by this other one there's another tier uh, level down where we're gonna put another lift on and the packers just gonna leapfrog back and forth from every area um, and pack it so everything keeps rolling and uh, you know production never stops the cats are busy, the packers busy, the hoeing trucks are busy. Um, now, I've talked before about advice to foremans and stuff like that, so this is kind of where that comes into play with the tester. So, I got my last lift um, passed and uh, he left. So. I have gained trust in him to do things properly so he's going to come back in a couple hours and uh, test my work and uh, you know that helps me to always keep production rolling and not have to wait uh, for the tester to uh, always pass my stuff. For example if he doesn't come back for several hours and we're done the lift and it's packed to what I think will pass and I think everything's good, he will let me put on another lift and he'll just skip that lift from being tested and he'll test my next one. So being friends or building trust with your tester uh, can go a long way.